What's going on? I want to do a, make a video of my cooler build. I don't know if I necessarily call it a cooler really, but I mean it is a cooler, obviously as you see, but mine is not a wet build, meaning you can still use the cooler inside. This is a completely taken up by the components, I guess you say. First thing you notice probably right off the bat is the bigger wheels and uh, tires on them. I've got four six and a half inch circle speakers, got two in the front, one on each side. I got my switches right up front. I got a voltmeter right there. I've got a charging spot. It's got two USB ports and a 12 volt outlet. I've got a 120 volt AC outlet. There are two of them actually. And uh, that knob was for a subwoofer that I used to have in there. A little powered sub, but the amp took a shit on me, so I don't have it anymore. Got the head unit on top. It's a real basic one. I actually got that for free, so it's kind of just my uh, temporary one, I guess you should say. See, I got two LED strips down there. I got one on each side. And those are cool white, so they're like the real, real bright, intense white. And then I have warm white ones as well, but they're shorter. Got two there. I've got one on the bottom of each speaker. And then two more, same side, or, you know, same spot on the other side. And then I have a LED strip that goes around the whole rim. And that's remote control. That's uh, red, green, and blue. Let's turn it a little bit. These bolts right here, this one and this one, are how I charge it. So I don't gotta open it up and leave it open with the battery charger connected. I just got a little 12 volt battery charger. Just clamp on right there. Those screws are what held the amp on the inside, but they're pointless now. But I don't want to hold there. That little thing used to be for a little monopod I had, and I have a, well, I mean, it's that's what it's still there for, but I don't use it, so I took it off. I had a little uh, pocket projector, about the size of an iPhone, that puts up like a 60 inch, you know, video on the wall, so that was pretty cool, like out on the garage at night, have campfires and stuff, but it's the middle of winter now, so I have used to use it elsewhere. The handles do telescope all the way down, so it's real, you know, it's got a real small profile. And the way I did the tires, I noticed there's a lot of uh, mixed ways to do this. A lot of people do it a different way. I wanted the easiest, easiest, I guess, quickest way to do it while still looking, you know, decent. I didn't want to drill through there and compromise like the inside of the cooler and have that rod going through it. So uh, I got a bolt there. I got two bolts there. Uh, and then what I did, I took a little eyelet, like a hook style thing, but the whole loop. One that was just big enough to go around this rod, which is a 5 8 diameter. And I got three of them. I got one right there, one right there, and one right there. And they're uh, sandwiched between two nuts and a uh, I'm sorry, two bolts and uh, two washers. And then it goes through the inside of the cooler and then, you know, it's obviously bolted down in there. And actually this right here, this uh, little mount thing works perfect right now because it's like a nice little kickstand to grab it with your foot while you tilt it back. You notice it's like whisper quiet. That's the nicest thing about these big wheels. Those old little plastic wheels, this is what I used to have. Do a size comparison. I do apologize about my voice. I've got a stuffy nose, a sore throat. I'm a mess right now. And in the front, I gotta uh, work on that a little bit more because they're too short. As you can see, it sits a little lean down or lean forward, whatever you want to call it. I use two uh, like U bolts. I thought they were going to be long enough, but they're too short for me to make it long enough for it to sit even. So let's open it up now. Let me go over the switches. 
this is the radio and the voltmeter. This is the charger right here. There's two USB ports. They're uh, both 2.1 amps, so it's pretty nice. And then, uh, you know, a 12 volt plug, like a cigarette lighter, or whatever. This right here, the third switch turns the uh, outlets on. And you hear there's an inverter there with a on the inside with a fan. It's kind of noisy. I plan on taking that fan out and getting a quieter one, but you know it does the job. This one does the lights at the bottom, the uh, cool white ones. This one does the warm white ones. And then this one was for that subwoofer as well, just like a remote turn on and off. It was connected through the radio, so if it was on, the amp only came on with the radio, but I, you know, I could turn it off if I wanted it on low. The knob was also for the subwoofer, but, you know, again, I'm not going to take it out and have a hole there. And the uh, LEDs up here are actually remote control. There's a little, like an IR sensor or whatever. So uh, inside, right off the bat, I got some LEDs that light up. I got a little magnetic uh, switch. So when that loses contact with it, it oh, turns these on. And then they're off. Now they're back on. Uh, up here in the lid, let's see, I got the antenna. Uh, my old one, I had that on the outside, but it was just kind of ugly and bulky. And this radio's got an external Bluetooth thing, so I just kind of tried to keep it as clean as I could. I got another cigarette light in here, lighter in here. Like if I got a, you know, a light or a phone or something I want to charge, I can just throw it in here and charge it. I got a hook with a little mesh bag here for uh, just wires, chargers. I got the remote for the uh, LEDs in there. I'll show you those real quick. Just do uh, taking it out. Green, red, blue. We do like variations of the colors. All of them on like that emits like a white light. So like if I turn the lights off right now, that would glow white. Uh, it flashes, strobes, fades to the different colors. That's my favorite. And there's like a smooth. And then you can speed it up. You can slow it down. Speed it back up. Slow it all the way down. Up. It's kind of a mess in there, but it's as clean as I'm going to get it. Unless I rewire everything, which I don't really feel like doing. I've got a 35 amp hour uh, battery. So far, I've played the radio on real high volume, charged the phone. Um, I powered a couple little uh, box fans for 8 plus hours with it not going dead, not even getting close to being dead. So, this is plenty of power for what I do. Those are how those uh, the wheels mount right there, those three bolts. Those are too close to that wheel well for me to get a washer on them, unfortunately. And these right here, that is the negative, no, that's the positive, and that's the negative bolt, which goes right to the battery for uh, charging. I got a little, uh, that is the control panel for the LEDs, goes through there. So the speakers, that's a little bass knob that's not in use. There's the switches right there. There's my uh, positive power bank, I guess you could call it. All the positive connections. And then that little thing down there, it used to be one of those little cup holder inverters. You know, you just throw in the cup holder of your car, but I took it apart. Bought some, you know, easy to mount outlets. So I can mount them flush because I didn't, the only other option I would have had was drilling a big hole and having that whole inverter like sticking out and it just did not look right. Got the radio wiring, all that. I do plan on actually rewiring it in the summer. I just, I don't have the motivation right now. Because I, I want to add some more lights as well. So I'm going to wait till I order all that. Now that it sits off the ground like that, I want to get some LEDs under there, like some underglow. Yeah, 
There's one more thing before I uh, show the radio working. I guess a lot of people I also see go over like what they paid for everything, so I figured if you're interested in that. I got way too much money put into this thing, but I've been building it for probably six months, so I only put a little bit at a time into it. Uh, like I said, the radio was free, so that's a huge chunk, because I mean, even a basic radio is usually 60, 70 bucks for something decent. Um, switches, you know, like three, four bucks a piece, so that was a good amount right there. I ordered most everything on eBay. Uh, voltmeter, I think, was maybe six or seven, not even, probably four or five. Uh, this thing, I believe, was ten bucks. These outlets right here were like six ninety nine a piece. I got two of those. They didn't come with the inverter. The ones with the inverter were built into it, I guess, so to speak, and I couldn't take them out and mount them on the wall. Uh, these LED strips, I think I paid like seven bucks for a pack of six or seven of them. These LED strips, same thing. I think I paid five or six bucks for a pack of like six or seven. Um, these ones, it was... I think about ten ninety nine with way more than this actually the it came with a spool of them and I want to say it was something like ten feet maybe give or take don't quote me on that but it comes with those the inverter or the little you know box and then the remote speakers for this pair I paid twenty from a guy selling them on Facebook got them brand new these I paid I think seventeen on eBay they were selling brand new without the box. Same speakers, just order them at different times. Uh, these wheels right here were normally 10 They were on sale at Harbor Freight for, I think, 6 bucks a piece. All the hardware to do all that, like the bolts and the nuts and the washers and all that, was about 20 25 bucks. I had to buy that big threaded rod. That was the most expensive part. And then all the other little stuff, like the, you know, these bolts and screws and the little, you know, L brackets, stuff like that. I got probably another 25, 30 bucks into all that. I got a lot of extra though, so you know, it doesn't hurt to have. The Nintendo was, I think, 12 bucks. I didn't want to order one online, which would have been a lot cheaper. That little outlet I had laying around, but years ago when I bought that, I think it was about 10 or 15 bucks before I started ordering stuff online. Uh, the inverter was like 22, and then the most expensive part was the battery, which Again, I didn't order online. I could have saved some money, but I wanted it that you know that day. That was, I think, about sixty-five or seventy bucks plus tax. And then all the wiring and the connectors and these bus bars. That was another twenty-five or thirty bucks. So if you do it right, it does cost some money, but. I mean, the fun with this thing is endless. Take it to the beach, the pool, your backyard, your front yard. You know your garage, even inside your house. I don't really party too much, but we do live on a beach, so that's going to be pretty fun this year. I built it at the end of last year, so didn't really get to use it outside. But, uh, we lose power a lot, like when it storms real bad. So I mainly wanted this to, you know, have music, have some lights, because, you know, our, our water and stuff like that still works. So we take a shower, you know, I can turn the lights on. I have a, uh, little like 15 watt LED work light that's real small that plugs into this as well and I mean it'll light up my whole house so that's pretty sweet and I can run that for like two and a half days straight or something like that I did a little math and converted the amps and all that stuff that was like 15 bucks was on sale at uh, Lowe's but I got two like little 12 or 13 inch box fans too which is I can't sleep without a fan neither can my girlfriend so you know, again, that's like a lifesaver if the power's out. Still got a fan. You know, charge our phones up. Uh, you can watch a movie on that projector, which, unfortunately, I don't have right now to show. Go ahead and play some music. Seems like all these videos you see, they play country, and I don't listen to too much country, but just to go along with it, I'll play a country song. This radio does have Bluetooth, but it just sounds really funky and low quality. The radio's like probably going on six years old now, so I just use the auxiliary cable.
I just charge it. Just a little disclaimer, I guess. The voltage is at 13.2. It usually rests at about 12.3, 12.4. So uh, it probably will drop a little bit, but then it'll sit right there. Radio too. Show the radio works. Hey, did I accidentally new rock alternative? I just unplugged my headphones. That was weird. There's my name is in a brand new commercial for EX Block Friday nights. I'm Reed. What up? Hopefully you're doing good. Got some maybe. You know, uh, I'm pretty bad for responding to comments and stuff. I'm not going to lie, so feel free to ask or, you know, give any critiques or anything, but I might not respond. I don't usually check my uh, notifications too often, so... Hopefully you enjoyed it. You know, go ahead and give it a like, uh, comment, subscribe, whatever you got to do. Appreciate all the subscriptions and likes.